How's it going everybody and welcome back to another quick tutorial brought to you in part by me. So I am wearing the same shirt as I was in the last episode of Dean is really close to the camera and in this episode of Dean is really close to the camera I'm not for repeater. Try to keep things consistent here like a cartoon character, you know, kind of like a Bart Simpson vibe. That's what I'm going for on this channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about the tone curve and how to understand it. So the tone curve is really essential to getting uh, all sorts of cinematic looks and pretty much just making your footage look not bad. So right here we have the tone curve and what we're gonna do is we're gonna plot points onto it. We're gonna point the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So an easy way to remember this is shadows, midtones, highlights, SMH, shaking my head, acronyms, and then to remember the blacks, just think black, white, and everything in between. So what do these actually mean? So a basic understanding is the shadows are gonna be anything that's, let's say over here, that's in the dark. Uh, the midtones are gonna be skin tones, and the highlights are gonna be whatever light or sun is hitting. So for example, and this thing, so let's raise up the shadows. So now you can probably see over here better, and then let's raise up the midtones, and then let's bring down the highlights. So the tone curve is all about trial and error. There's no real way to do anything, but it's just trying to find something that's in a happy middle without going too crazy. So it's a very subtle tool. You don't really want to overdo it. So if you're bringing down the blacks, just bring them down very slightly, or bring your midtones up just a little bit. This is such a useful tool, and if you understand what you're looking at, then you're gonna be able to use it in a better way. So a lot of the times when you see these vintage kind of washed out photos, that's because the blacks have been raised up to a gray now to make them washed out. So there's actually no absolute black in the image or video that you're seeing. So this has been a super quick tutorial. I hope that you guys learned something. I hope that you guys enjoyed and get out there and keep killing it.